are you ready for the hardest Warhammer 40,000 tournament in the world? Nick, the Brown Magic Nanavati, Richard, the Machine Siegler, John, Florida Man Lennon, and Mark, the Great Unclean One, Perry. Four champions walk in, only one walks out. Who will take the crown and become champion of the Art of War stream house? Hey guys, that's your man Mark, the Great Unclean One, Perry. I'm here to talk about my World Leaders list for the legendary RTT of the Trap House, the first one ever. So in my World Leaders list, what I have is I have double Dark Apostles. One with the Banner of Rage, that plus one attack once per fight phase. Then I have a Lord Discordant with the Talisman of Burning Blood. Then I got six by five this Corn Berserker units ready to chop you up. They got Chain Axe and Chain Swords on all of them. Then you got two by five Possess units. My little secret tech in for the next version of the list. I got one Hellforge Drawed Claw Drop Pod. I got two units of seven Raptors with one Power Fist. And I got a Hell Drake, yeah. And I got a two Rhinos, one with two Bolters, one with a Solo Bolter. And then I have a Word Bears Patrol with a Sorcerer and a Terminate Armor and 10 Cultists to bring that Warp Time Prescient support. <laughs> Sorry guys, I kind of had to fight that evil Macho Mark spirit out of me because I was just so excited for this RTT coming up, for this World Leaders Army I'm about to play. And I just kind of got over, like, I just got a little overzealous in my heart. So Normal Mark is back here to explain the theory crafting behind the World Leaders. So the World Leaders are very much of a obsec bully army. It's all based around that Spidey Berserkers that I have in the army that are in transports one of the tricks that i use most commonly and the strategies that i will try to abuse will be the six inch consolidation stratagem from one cp so let's say that my opponent has a soft screen up front to block me off from getting objectives or he just doesn't have obsec on his own objectives because you know maybe it's more of a firepower list maybe it's something like that i'm just gonna fight that way so what i'm gonna do is pile in and fight and then kill that unit and then I want to consolidate and I'm going to pop the shot to consolidate six inches. So then I go six inches and since I'm berserkers, I'm going to go with never, I want to activate again, which will allow me to go never three inches and then six inches at the end of that activation. That unit is going to ultimately, after it does that first fight, before it does its last consolidation and its first consolidation, it will go a total of 15 inches. So that's a very fast, very good way to sneak around obsec on your opponent's objectives that he wasn't able to place obsec on there. So that's one of the common tricks and uh, gimmicks I will try to do. And this list is kind of built around. Now, you gotta ask about, well, what about the Possessed and the Disco Lord? They work as a pair. They're there to help counter and be able to clean up Custodes because they can, both of those units can get at AP free, which is really important because then they have, Custodes have a stratagem for ignore AP one and two, and the Berserkers can't get past that. So the Possessed and the Disco Lord can pop one CP to get an extra AP, so they can really hammer down those extra units that they put up there. And they don't have a lot of valuable, they don't, they don't have a lot of shaft to put in front of me. So the Raptors and the Heldrakes can clear out that shaft and allow the Possessed and Disco Lord to go in. Now, what about the Raptors and the Heldrakes are actually there more or less to fight on my flanks, to skirmish on those objectives that don't have a lot of stuff on there. And I can't infantry walk things over there. It takes longer time to set up those things. And I want to take my opponent off of those out in the open uh flank objectives that are just not in a good position for either of us but he got there first or maybe i want to get there first those are units are there for that the help the Heldrick is also just good for screening and move blocking because it's not an aircraft it's just a flyer uh that allows you to move block it doesn't have the aircraft keyword so it can still move block move over things it's just a flying 30 inch monster really and then the raptors are there because of all the extra damage that you can pop on them all the stratagems allow them to be able to charge flyers kill hard targets that they want to or really look for chinks in my opponent's model placement and deployment and where I can exploit them. They're also great counter assault. And if I'm not sitting at my opponent turn one, what I'm doing is probably saving until like turn four when my opponent has a weak spot and I'll exploit it. Now, why word barrier support is because I want to auto cast my warp time. That's the most important thing is warp time will literally be the most like the game changing. And like if you fail warp time, this list can just crumble apart. Well, word bearers auto get it off. If I fail to cast it, I just spend a CP, take a mortal wound, and I'm good. So in those crucial times where that warp time is that important, I'll pre-measure, make sure I can't get me in deny range. If I do cast a spell and they can try to negate it, I'll try to stop that. 
my five dudes and most of my units is very msu so it's very easy to string them out without worry of the coherency rules now that's the gist of this list and how it functions it's an object bully with some extra tools for certain matchups it controls the midboard by just existing in your deployment zone because anything that your opponent puts forward it will engage it can very easily charge and it's one of those things that your opponent has to handle at piecemeal because they try to fight you on a front on front war you're you're probably going to get smashed around they can't take two ways of your army so how most people will play this army is respect it and try to play defensively and try to control those skirmish objectives and try to work around you so that's why i have that strategies and those hell drakes that disco lord and those raptors and possessed for that reason all right guys take care remember type if you have any questions for me in the comments let me know don't forget to subscribe um yeah that's it take care and bye bye